Rectangles are another commonly used sketch command, which is great to use when starting a sketch and using it as a skeleton to build a more refined sketch. Rectangles create boxes on screen, with all four sides perpendicular to one another, and there are three different types of rectangle tools available. This propeller sketch pattern currently only has four extensions, and I can use the rectangles tools to add another extension along with a fin on each. The rectangle tools are found in three locations from the sketch pull-down menu, in the right-click menu, and one of them, the two-point rectangle, can be accessed from the marking menu. This corresponds to the right-click gesture, down and up to the right. First, I want to create the third extension, which I can do by switching over to the center rectangle here in the sketch palette. Anytime a tool type has multiple options, they are all available here. The center rectangle is drawn by first specifying the center point and then moving outward to one corner. I'll choose the origin as the center, and then place a corner upward approximately the same length and width as the other extensions. If I zoom in, notice that this rectangle has diagonal construction lines included. These construction lines ensure the rectangle is centered on the point used to create it. Next, I'd like to draw one of the fins on the sketch. I'll use the two-point rectangle to draw the first fin. This rectangle requires two clicks to draw the rectangle, each click being in an opposite corner. I'll start the sketch in the upper left corner, then place the opposite corner down and to the right. Up until this point, both rectangle tools were created with their sides being horizontal and vertical. But how would I create another fin on one of these angled extensions? The three-point rectangle tool can be used to create rectangles that are at an angle. I'll activate the three-point rectangle tool, which requires three clicks to create it. The first two clicks specify the endpoints on one side of the rectangle, which I'll draw starting here, and place the endpoint further down the line. The final point creates the width of the rectangle, which I can create by moving downward. All of the constraints added to this rectangle are parallel instead of vertical and horizontal, since this rectangle can be drawn at any angle. These three rectangle tools can be used to create all of the remaining fins in the sketch, which you can see if I switch ahead to the completed sketch. By using a combination of these three rectangle tools, you'll be able to create rectangular sketch elements in any sketching situation.